Imagine this. Your phone doesn't just charge wirelessly, it snaps into place like magic, perfectly aligned every single time. No more waking up to a dead phone because it shifted off the pad. That's exactly what the Pixel 10 series is about to deliver, and the leaks we're seeing make it sound like Google has finally cracked the wireless charging game in a way Android fans have been waiting for. Welcome back viewers, Sam here. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel for more exciting updates just like this. So here's the twist, every single Pixel 10 model, even the foldable Pixel 10 Pro Fold, is set to support something brand new called Pixel Snap. And this isn't just a fancy case, this is Google's way of introducing full-blown magnetic wireless charging with the latest Chu2 standard. The same kind of tech Apple made trendy with MagSaf, a eh, but... Now Google's going a step further by making it part of the entire Pixel lineup. That's a big deal because in the Android world, this feature is almost non-existent. The leaks even show renders of Pixel Snap cases with a visible magnetic ring inside, which means the phones themselves will likely have built-in magnets that guide them into perfect alignment. That's not just cosmetic, it makes charging faster, cooler, and more reliable. And here's where it gets interesting while regular wireless charging tops out at 50W, Q2 could push the Pixel 10 speeds up to 23W. That's a solid jump over last year's Pixel 9 series, which maxed out at 21W with Google's own charger and only while 20 doubles on standard pads. Imagine tossing your phone on a pad and knowing it'll juice up almost as fast as plugging it in. But it doesn't stop there. Word is, the foldable Pixel 10 Pro Fold will also support this feature, something Samsung hasn't managed to do yet with its Galaxy Z Fold lineup. That alone is a bold statement from Google. The only catch, the Fold won't debut alongside the rest of the lineup at the August 20 event. It's delayed until October. Still, the fact that a foldable is getting magnetic wireless charging first from Google and not Samsung is a surprise no one saw coming. Now here's another curveball. The Pixel 10 phones are rumored to be slightly heavier than their predecessors. And while that might sound like a downside, think about it. Added weight could mean stronger magnets, bigger batteries, or both. If it's the latter, Pixel fans are in for a real treat. The leaked EU filings confirm that the standard Pixel 10 gets a 4 A35 mAh battery, the Pro sits at 4 770 ma, and the Pro Axel stretches up to 5 078 mAh. On paper, those look solid, but the projected runtimes tell a stranger story. The regular Pixel 10 only gains 11 seconds of runtime over its predecessor, while the Pro gets a small but steady bump, and the Pro XL, despite having the biggest battery, actually shows a slight dip in runtime. Could that be because of the new Tensor G5 chip? or maybe extra hardware sucking more power. We'll have to see in the real world. What's important here is that this is the first Tensor chip built entirely by Google at TSMC instead of Samsung, which means better efficiency is on the table. Add in seven full years of Android updates, IP68 water resistance, and the ability to survive over 170 drop tests with battery safety intact. And this is shaping up to be Google's most durable Pixel ever. And we can't forget the AI factor. Pixel has always been the phone that brings futuristic features first, magic eraser, hold for me, and even real-time language translation that Apple and Samsung later scrambled to match. Now with Google finally in full control of the silicon and the software, we could be about to see AI features that no one else can touch. Imagine a phone that not only charges smarter, but actually predicts how you'll use it throughout the day and adjusts performance to squeeze every last drop of power out of the battery. That's the kind of Pixel future people are hoping for. The Pixel Snap cases themselves even play into this vision, matching colors like Indigo Obsidian Lime Cello and Frost give them a clean aesthetic while microfiber lining adds protection. They don't just look like accessories, they look like extensions of the Pixel itself. With less than a week before launch, it's clear the Pixel 10 series isn't just about flashy cameras or AI tricks. It's about solving little annoyances that we all deal with every day, like misaligned chargers, unreliable battery life, or clunky accessories. If Google nails this, the Pixel 10 could finally be the phone that convinces long-time iPhone or Samsung users to make the jump. The question is, will magnetic charging, a smarter battery, and Google's AI advantage be enough to break habits and ecosystems people have been stuck in for years? We're about to find out on August 20, but if these leaks are even half true, the, the Pixel 10 lineup isn't just keeping up with the competition, it's quietly trying to set the pace for the next generation of smartphones.